mark it. These are about 10 inches across, so I get two of them out of there. Let's do it the right way. I'm going to measure it on both sides. Mark it. Line it up. It's like woodwork. I'll get another one out of the end here. All right, so I'm going to get about <coughs> six out of one of these. So, hmm, how are we going to make? I'm going to show you a leaf-shaped turnover. Leaf-shaped. I know it's great. Leaf-shaped right? turnover. Oh my mind. We're going to make a lemon shape out of our dough. Okay. The easiest way to do this, guys, fold it corner to corner. Kind of. Uh, there you go. That's right. It. So it's pseudo kind of lemon shaped. Looks like a leaf. We're gonna stuff it. Let's make this one. Yes. Mm. Apple pie filling. Apple pie filling. We can make frangipan filled ones, guys. Okay. Apple turnover. Um, I'm gonna make an apple turnover that looks like a leaf. Okay. So I just want to make it nice and lemon shaped. I always wonder how they, how they did it. Really you know right. what I mean? Lemon shaped goes? Kind of football. Football shaped? Football. Right. Football. Football. And this is a little bit Sacramo. thick, a little bit too small for what I want. Okay. <coughs> Gently roll it out. Okay, so that's not smashing. It is. Together. It is smashing your layers together. That's why I'm being very, very gentle. Anytime I roll this out, it's never going to puff up as high as if I just left it alone. All right. For more filling, yes. Okay. I'm going to put filling on one half of this. Guys, don't go overboard on the filling. All right. It's like you only need a little bit. Yeah, there's never a lot in the donuts. I mean, like, you would think that there is, but there's not a whole lot. Right. You only need a little bit. I'm going to egg wash. Put my egg wash away. I got I to gotta glue it together, right? <laughs> so, egg wash the edge. Edges. Egg wash the edges. Fold it over. Press those edges closed to seal them up. We could use a fork. Meh, 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 meh. Or use my little cutter to do scalloped edges if I made it a little bigger, right? Try not to get the air bubbles in here, but you know, let's. Um, you want to do nothing like with this? Yeah, why don't we do that? Yeah, why not? Got a little rolling uh, pinwheel cutter. It's going to make a nice edge on here. Don't go too deep because you're cutting in. You'll be cutting into the fruity part. When you get down to the bottom, leave a little bit down here, guys. Leave a little bit and cut in for a little leafy stem. Okay. Now, Score. check this out. Scoring it just like we did before. There should be something else to it though. Scoring. I'm just gonna make a, a little kind of and a little leaf pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this side. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, it's a leaf. All right. It doesn't. It's it's a it's art, guys. It's not going to look like a nature show. Okay. This would I would be most likely doing this on my sheet tray. Could someone grab me a half sheet tray with a half sheet of parchment on it, please? How how hot is this going to go in the oven? Can use this sheet of parchment from the. How does this what? How hot is the oven when you put this? Four hundred degrees. For how long? About you said. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Just about. Right. Thank you.